Sears LEAP test scores show Louisiana students are improving, but education advocates say we still have a long way to go. David Jones joins us now to break down these results. David. The state saw some minor improvements in English language arts and mostly stayed even in math and science. COVID was a huge disruptor for school systems nationwide, and leaders note they're still recovering. We do have a lot of good teachers. We do have a lot of good people trying very hard, but they don't have the resources. We don't have the small class sizes. We don't have the books. The LEAP scores are in. I think other states are, are uh, having the same kinds of difficulties, uh, but not having as much success in dealing with them. Statewide, English scores are up. For third through eighth graders, an average of 43% of students are considered proficient, which is about the same rate pre-COVID in 2019. Math and science comprehension still is below pre-COVID levels. 31% of students are proficient by state standards for the third through eighth grade for math. About 28% for the same grades for science. People have different learning styles and we're teaching to one, which is mostly lecture. The things we already know to do, we need to implement them. We just need to implement best practices. For parents like Ashana Bigard, who was also a longtime education advocate, the gains are not matching the spending. I know everybody's going to focus on the one percent growth, but considering how much money was poured into the system overall, there definitely needs to be more growth. We're back, basically back to where we were pre-pandemic, and that's a lot better uh, than, than most states can say. So that's that's a plus. Douglas Harris is chair of the economics department of Tulane and director at the Education Research Alliance for New Orleans. We see still some improvement after years of continued improvement. That's unusual. You don't usually see uh, states improving consistently over time, uh, even to a small degree. Harris says the state, like others, faces headwinds when it comes to education rankings. You've got the high absence rate, you've got students being more stuck on their phones and mental health issues, and uh, I think teaching has become less attractive. And so there are a lot of things going on right now in the system that are that you could say are pulling scores down. In a statement, State Superintendent Dr. Cade Brumley said the scores show students are holding steady, but the numbers validate their recent efforts to improve education quality. And the president of the state's Board of Elementary and Secondary Education also touted the numbers, pointing to efforts at emphasizing literacy initiatives at an early age. Overall, the state improved four spots to 42nd in the nation. Lauren.